In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how I made this beautiful Otogele rose. You can see how beautiful it looks. And can you see how the inside looks? It's a kind of ruffle, so I will quickly show you how I did this. Anyway, I have my Otogele base already made. Then I have this rose. So I'm just going to be using the remaining one to show you how I created the rose so that it will be placed together with the other one. So I encourage you that you stay tuned and watch and see how I created it. So for the length of this layer, I used up to 73 inches. So if you measure the first 16 inches, then I also measured the remaining part, which gives me 13 inches. So I have I have total of 73 inches for this rose. So I will encourage you that you watch and see how I formed the rose. So I'll start by pleating the this beginning part. I'll start by pleating it. Just like I am showing you in this video. So guys, if this is your first time of visiting my channel, this is Nike Collection channel. I create content on how to make your headdress and the designs. So please go ahead to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you stay updated once I drop my tutorials. I drop tutorials every week so you can stay updated once I drop new videos. So can you see how I am pleating it? I, I just have to stay this other side so that you can see it very clearly how I am doing this. So at the tip of this, I'm just pleating it and I'm going to be folding it inside. And when I fold it, I will tack. This rose is not like the regular one that you just pleat all through and then fold. No. There's a method I use for this rose, so I will encourage you that you stay and watch how I made it. So what I'm doing here is just to form a kind of the base where other thing I'll be doing will come in. This is just like I said, this is not the regular rose where you pleat and then fold. No, I'll quickly show you also how I will do this. But I'm just forming the base and I'm tacking them together. Why tacking this rose? Don't make it too tight so that it won't change the shape of your rose from the normal circular form it's supposed to form. So you just tack it a kind of loosely, it won't be so tight. So right now, can you see how I am folding it? It's not I'm not pleating again. So pay attention and see what I'm doing. I'm not pleating again. And at the end, you'll see that this rose will look more like a freehand ruffles. Freehand ruffles on the inside. So pay attention. Keep watching. If you find value in my video, don't forget to encourage me and give me a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly do so, all right? So when I get to the end, I will also sh show you how I form that very fun part. Can you see how I am twisting it? A kind of twisting it. And why twisting it? I make it loose. So please pay attention. You will learn it is very easy to create and form, okay?
So guys, I hope you followed up to this point. You can see that I'm no longer twisting this. I am now forming back my pleat. But in this time, I'm making it a bit slant so that it will form that very fan we saw at the beginning of this tutorial. You can see that at the ending part, the rose has fan, a fan shape. So that is simply how I am creating this. Can you see me? Why can you see the inside of this rose? Can you see that it looks more like a ruffle? It doesn't look like a pleat. Instead, it looks like a ruffle. And that gives it a unique look. So if you didn't pay attention, kindly go back and see what I did to achieve this. And meanwhile, for my autogether base, I already have a video on it. I will leave it in the comment section in case if you still find it hard to create an autogether base. So you can check the comment section for the link. Alright? So keep watching and if you find value, please give me a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly consider it because... I will post more content on how to make your headwears and your headwear designs. Right? Thank you for sticking with this channel and let's continue.